I'm Katherine Robertson Pilling, and I'm here today with Cal Harris Jr. Cal is a contemporary jazz artist. And as an engineer, pr programmer, and producer, he's toured the world with musical legends like Earth, Wind and Fire, Lenny Kravitz, Prince, Whitney Houston, and Beyonce, just to name a few. Cal has released three successful CDs and is working on his fourth now. Um, and Billboard, he's, you know, he's had multiple hit singles. Billboard magazine ranked him as number five in his genre for the year 2018. Cal was born in Los Angeles, now lives in Phoenix, Arizona. We met in LA in 95 and have been, you know, stayed connected both as friends and also Cal and I have worked together around his creative process as he's evolved over the years. So I'm really excited today to share this moment with Cal as he has just released a new single on April 2nd. So Cal, this single, tell us a little bit about it. What is it called and what motivated you to make this song in particular? Well, thank, thank you for having me here, first of all, Catherine. And uh, the song is Ordinary Days. It's, um, it's a song that, that was inspired by what we've all been going through for the last year and a half with this, uh, with this pandemic. And uh, it's, it's kind of a celebration of what I know we're all missing right now, which is uh, ordinary days, you know, days where you just do what you do and you're not walking around in masks and, and um, you know, so this song was inspired by my desire that I'm sure you all share to get back to that. So, uh, yeah. Super, super. Yeah, no kidding. May, may it not continue. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So Cal, tell, tell me a little bit about what is in this song, because I know people love to hear about sort of the creative process that goes behind it. I see keyboards behind you. I see a computer. Um, just give us one well, little glimpse into your creative process on this song. Well, this is, this is, where, this is where it all happens, <laughs> or more often than not, doesn't happen. <laughs> but um, <laughs> you know, the days when it does are, are, are great. And uh, there are a lot of different ways that, that I get ideas. Um, I, I, can't, I can't remember how this one came together because it's been a while since I, since I did it. But uh, sometimes I just come down and practice or, or, you know, just work stuff. And a lot of the work that we've done together, Catherine, in the virtual studio days, um, takes place here and um, you know one of the things that I've learned is just getting in here and putting putting stuff together even if I'm just making sure that all the keyboards work or um, mm -hmm. updating software you know that that's often what I'm doing when an idea mm -hmm. comes to me, you know so um, I, I now try to get in here every day and just kind of prime the pump and, and, and see what's there. And sometimes I just get work done and, and you know, what's wrong with that? Getting some work done that needs to be done. And, uh, but often that work leads to an inspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's showing up and being in the seat, isn't it? When, when exactly. that inspiration comes. Um, so if you had one word to share with creative people who are, you know, wanting to get their own work out there in the world or are struggling to, to produce their own work, what would you say to them, Cal? What, actually, just one word or? A, a sentence, whatever, a thought. <laughs> well, you know, I, what I am finding out is that this work is, is, more about the the my personal work mm -hmm. you know this is me getting over my my fears and anxieties and and um and um you know working through them because that's that's the real work you know i think i'm in here to try to make the next big hit and what i'm really here to do is to mm -hmm. you know deal with issues from my childhood or um relationship or whatever and and often the music that comes out of it is is the try is is indicative of the triumph over over a lot of the obstacles that that i face this is my way of doing it and there are a million ways of doing it this is just mine 
but um, I think everyone can bring that to to the creative to their creative process. And um, and if you've done your work, it comes out great. Yeah, I loved what Charlie Parker said. You know, if you haven't lived it, it won't come out of your horn. And uh, exactly. And creative work for me, and you couldn't have said it better. You know, if I had written a script for you. Um, just that creative work is the way that we transform those things, unresolved things in our lives into something of beauty. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh -huh. That takes a little of the pressure off of it too, because I mean, even if it doesn't become a great big hit and, and believe me, I've had more songs that have been unsuccessful right. than not, but, um, and, and you spend a lot of time wondering, is it worth going through all this you know when when people may not listen or or they may not buy your art or um you know may not respond to it the way that you hoped but if you bring that to it then it it's worth it it's its own reward yeah. and then you know the the accolades and the chart hits and radios mm -hmm. and all that stuff is is all gravy on top of that yeah yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Cal. You know, it's really um, so it's such a privilege to get to sort of pull back the curtain and see what happens inside the studio when you're alone with your work, because we all go through that, um, all of those feelings associated with it. So thank you so much for being here and also hey, for, sharing, for sharing your real your real experience of it. Um, so as I said, Cal has just released a new single. It's called Ordinary Days. Um, it's the first release of an album that'll be coming out uh, probably later this year. In the meantime, you can find Cal's music everywhere music is sold, Spotify, iTunes, Deezer, and all the others. Or you can just say, Alexa, play Cal Harris Jr. to hear all of his work. Thanks so much, Cal. Have a great day in your studio. Thank you, Catherine.